Hi, this is Attorney David Hen. I'm going to talk to you about the Indiana's requirement that we carry insurance on our vehicles and how Indiana enforces that. So by Indiana law, we're required to carry a certain insurance coverage on our vehicles when we uh, operate our vehicles on Indiana roads. It is policed by the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. And what happens is whenever you have a contact with law enforcement, whether by traffic ticket or by accident, and they issue an accident report, it is going to trigger the, uh, a postcard from the Bureau of Motor Vehicles uh, demanding that you file proof of financial responsibility or proof of insurance with the BMV. You'll receive that postcard by snail mail and you have to t present that to your insurance company and only your insurance company can log into the BMV and electronically file your proof of financial responsibility. You do not have the ability of taking your insurance card to a BMV branch and showing proof of financial responsibility. Your insurance company has to verify it for you. Now a couple problems come up. Um, sometimes we don't keep our address current with the Bureau of Motor Vehicles and the Bureau of Motor Vehicles satisfies the notice requirement that we have to file the proof of financial responsibility simply by mailing the postcard to the last address they have on file. If you don't have your address current and they send the uh, uh, notice requirement to the wrong address, that's your problem, not theirs. Your license is going to end up being suspended and you won't even know it. Second is, uh, when you have an accident, it's going to trigger this postcard. And what's going to happen is the BMV is going to request or demand uh, proof of financial responsibility be filed for the vehicle that was involved in the accident. That means that if the officer has incorrectly identified your vehicle, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles is going to look for insurance for a vehicle you don't even own. For example, if you're driving a 2012 vehicle and the officer uh, types in on the accident report that you were driving a 2002, the Bureau of Motor Vehicles is going to demand that you file proof of insurance for a 2002 vehicle that you don't even own. So your insurance company files its proof of financial responsibility or proof of insurance for your 2012 vehicle, even though it has the same VIN number as a vehicle in the accident report, the BMV is going to reject that filing and still suspend your license. The only way to fix this is to have the police officer amend the accident report and properly and completely identify the vehicle you own. I've actually seen this happen. It is a terrible headache. So what you need to do is, number one, make sure your BMV account is kept current and that your address with the BMV is uh, always uh, kept current so you will receive all notices from them. Number two, if you're in an accident, pull your accident report at a website called buycrash.com, B-U-Y crash.com. It'll cost you $12 and you can verify that all the information on that regarding you and the vehicle you were driving is current and accurate. And then third, if you receive a ticket or if you're in an accident, watch your mailbox for the requirement um, that you file proof of financial responsibility. It'll come in a postcard. It'll tell you that your license is subject to suspension if you don't file the proof of insurance. And when you receive the postcard, immediately contact your insurance company so they can log in and get your proof of insurance on file with the BMV. As always, stay safe, enjoy the ride, and we'll talk again later.